Would you be surprised if I tell you that the world's largest river, Amazon, flows in a reverse direction twice a year? You heard me right. Difficult to believe that? Well, that is what we bring for you in our latest series, Nature Bites, where we would talk about some natural phenomena that are not so commonly known. Hello and welcome to I Say Kids. It is not just another channel where you just binge watch without gaining anything out of it. It is a channel curated to develop your general awareness and knowledge. So what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon too. Before we talk about the term Pororoka, let's first go through a couple of other terms. The first one is Tides. As we all know, tides are the rise and fall of sea levels caused by the combined effects of the gravitational forces exerted by the moon, sun and the rotation of the earth. Now, tidal bore is a tidal phenomena in which the leading edge of the incoming tide forms a wave of water that travels up a river or narrow bay, reversing the direction of the river or bay's current. That is, it is a strong tide that pushes up the river against the current. Now, Pororoka is a tidal bore with waves up to 13 feet high that travel as much as 800 km inland upstream on the Amazon River and adjacent rivers. The word Pororoka comes from Tupian word meaning Great Road. It could be also Portuguese version of the term Porok Porok, which in an indigenous language was a way of expressing the act of destroying everything. It could also be a portmanteau of the words Porok and Oka, where Porok means to take out or to tear away and Oka means house. It occurs at the mouth of the river where its water meet the Atlantic Ocean. During new and full moons, when the ocean tide is highest, water flows in from the Atlantic rather than the other way round. The Amazon's flow reverses, the distance of which depends largely on the rainwater generated outflow of the Amazon. A water bulge speeds upstream often with great force, forming a tidal bore with an audible noise. The tidal phenomena is best observed on biannual equinoxes in September and March during a spring tide. On an equinoctial spring tide, the moon and sun fall into direct alignment with the earth and their gravitational pull is combined bringing the Pororoka and others around the world to the peak. The wave has become popular with surfers. The ultimate dream of a surfer is to ride the endless wave. Pororoka is considered one of the longest surfable waves in the world. Since 1999, an annual championship has been held in South Dominico's KP on the adjacent Guama River. However, surfing the Pororoka is especially dangerous as the water contains a significant amount of debris from the shores of the river, often entire trees in addition to dangerous fauna like crocodiles, piranhas and snakes. Thank you. That's it. If you like the video, please hit the like button and if you know of any natural phenomena that is not so commonly known, let us and our viewers know in the comment section below. Till we meet again. Stay kind, make healthier choices, and keep watching Isaac Kids. Bye-bye. Have a great day.